right, so getting right into it, the Breeze ET, I love this device. It's my everyday, so that right there should tell you that it's really worth something. I used to use the Zephon, uh, which was pretty much the only device there in the market. However, when this came out, it really intrigued me for a few main key features, one of them being lifetime calibration. It comes with a certificate saying it's calibrated, you never have to calibrate it, and that alone makes our job so much easier. So how does it work? Well, it's pretty simple. It just measures the flow rate coming in, and if it's too high, too low, based on the pressure or windage, it will adjust that. It just makes things so much easier now. You don't have to stick your pump up, calibrate it every morning, or you know every inspection, whatever it is that you tend to do. It makes your flow of the day so much better. On top of that, it reduces your liability. So you know if you ever had to go into court or prove that something was calibrated, you know that you have a pump that's lifetime calibrated, that it actually adjusts right on the spot. Another feature that I love about this is the temperature and humidity reader. I know most of us already have a device that does this, but it's nice to have it built in. I will say compared to the devices that I personally use, it takes a little bit longer to grab that reading. If you want a really accurate result, you probably want to wait about 10 minutes or so to make sure you're getting a good reading on this. Now I'm in Florida, so being inside versus outside, there's a big temperature differential. With that being said, when you bring it outside, you probably want to wait a little bit longer than 10 minutes just to make sure that you're getting that accurate reading. Now, compared to the Zephon, this one actually has a touchscreen LCD monitor. It allows you to check the environmental parameters. You could start your tests and change your minute and times, just like the Zephon, but everything here is digital. I will say having the LCD monitor and just the simple way this thing is designed, it doesn't really feel so much like a construction tool like the Zephon does with that hardy plastic. Uh, it feels more like a delicate device. And so keep that in mind when you're going in and out of the field. I know you're traveling a lot. I don't know if you're keeping this in a bag or what. Now along those same lines, uh, this doesn't seem as rain friendly as the Zephon. I know that Zephon has that nice little covering over the buttons and things. This one right here, you could see that it's actually got vents right at the top, the humidity readers up there, and the LCD panel doesn't really seem sealed against the plastic, so just keep that in mind. That's one of the sacrifices. This is an early model. I'm sure that they're gonna adapt. This can be something that they overcome, but I hope they do because this, of course, is the device that we need to use outside. And I'm not expecting to use it in a snowstorm or a rainstorm or anything, but just to have some sprinkles out there without freaking out that my device is gonna get damaged, that would be nice, especially here in Florida. Another thing, speaking of early adoption that you might notice is some of these materials, you can tell that they've been uh, 3D printed with a 3D printer and not a big deal. It doesn't really make a difference on how it performs. It still performs well, but that tells me at least that, hey, you know, this, this thing probably isn't mass produced. That actually is a positive thing in my point of view because the team is amazing to actually call these guys and say, hey, listen, uh, I got a question or I have a problem. It's really easy to go hold of someone. Now you would think this big machine with variable flow rate and you know LCD panel touch screen that it would have a really bad battery life. It's actually got a really good battery life. You know I've had this thing for shoot probably six months now and I've only charged it a few times. I would probably say it lasts a little bit less than the Zephon but it's not even really noticeable. So enough talking about it. Let's go outside and try this thing out. All right, we got our aerosol here. Let's go ahead and start up our sample. So we're gonna switch on the machine, install the aerosol and wait for it to boot up. One thing I will say, especially on these sunny days, because it's an LCD screen, it's a little harder to see than the bio pump, for example. It's never been too bright where it's a problem for me to visually see it, but just keep that in mind. Now we're gonna start our test, say next, and you can choose your time here. We're gonna run a 10 minute sample. Now, as you see, we have our temperature, our humidity, the battery percentage. Different than the bio pump, it actually shows you time remaining. It doesn't show you how much time you've actually gone through. I prefer that feature. I think it's a little bit better. It's easier for me to look at it as I'm doing my inspection and say, okay, I have this much left. Now, one key difference you'll notice between this and the bio pump is once the sample is actually completed, there's no sound indication letting you know that the sample has been completed. I would prefer to have the sound, or at least an option for the sound. Hopefully that'll come in a future update. So after six months of use, I would have to say, this is a good pump. 
Compared to the bio pump, it's actually the same price. So you can make a decision if you want to go with the old bio pump or if you want to go with the new Breeze ET. This is my everyday and I haven't looked back. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and we'll be sure to get to you. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to watch more videos from American Building Science Academy. We have videos on mold inspections, mold remediation, building science, and more. We'll see you soon.